The July is one of the most dangerous times of the year for boaters, as many people take to the water while under the influence. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is trying to keep the public safe with Operation Dry Water. News 13's Faith Graham tells us what boaters can expect and how the FWC is enforcing the law. Well, we're going to be out in an enhanced effort targeting and looking for operators who are impaired. This weekend will be all hands on deck for the FWC as they patrol our local waters for those who should not be behind the wheel. It's not illegal for the operator to actually consume alcohol, but it's the same .08 as a DUI applies to BUI, boating under the influence. Ramos says when conducting safety inspections, they also look for proper sized life jackets, a throwable device, and other safety items. We'll look for fire extinguisher that's in good operating condition, flares, a sound producing device, and an updated registration. As long as everyone follows the rules, the FWC says a lot of harm can be prevented. In July of 2019, just in the state of Florida, we had five fatalities and 68 serious bodily injuries due to impaired operators. Those taking to the water say they plan on being extra careful. With a lot of boaters and bad weather, especially those two factors, it's, it's important to uh, keep your head on a swivel, right, and pay attention to what's going on around you. In Panama City, Faith Graham, News 13, Panhandle Strong.